Hey guys, welcome back. So, we're going to go on to our part, I don't know, two or three or whatever we're doing with this guy. So, what we're doing today is, I'm going to bring it down, show you. We're going to get the snake undercut. Uh, what I'm going to use is a uh, cut saw. Uh, this is a taper bit. So, what I want to do is I want to get the snake more rounded out and looks like he's actually sitting on it. So... Let's do that and see what happens. You can see I'm trying to get under, and there's a big bulk here, but that'll be brought down so you can see the snake there. So once you got your snake undercut, now what you want to do is you want to round off from the like the top. So you can see where the top is. You want to round this piece off, and in there, sort 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 of looks like that. You know, like your snake is round. Um, the, I guess this is the body composition of, of a skeleton. So you really want to get it sort of round looking. And so it looks like it's wrapping around the snake, or sorry, the stick. So um, what we need to do now is also, when we're doing that, is to take down the stick itself in between. Because you want the stick itself to be lower than what the snake is. It might look funny at first. Not a big deal. Once you start working on it. It gets better okay so right, we'll guys. get back so we're gonna switch up back to our saber tooth bit what we want to do is now get in more to the round is here so Okay. 
All right, guys, let's talk about some. Let's talk about proportions of your snake. Now, depending on how big your stick is, all right, my brick face, depending on how big your stick is, you don't want the snake to be too crazily big. Now, I got problems, issues, where it turns out pretty good coming around. It's a little thick here. On the, that's where the head is here, which is fine. I could bring that down. It's a little thick around the corner. Fine, bring it down. But then you get into points. Or, okay, so it gets a little thinner here. I like the size coming around. A little bit thick at the bottom here. But then I get to a point where I made that little kind of a U. All right. So I'm going to bring you a little closer here. You can see that from the thickness of this. Now I'm saying thickness, width. All right. Bringing it around, how much it goes in right here. Here's my problem. Always got an issue with that. Guys, this is what happens when sometimes if you go a little too fast, sometimes if you're not paying attention, you get them in small. So what we're going to do, like it's really thin here, I think like thickness. And then it goes a little fatter here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the snake itself just a little thinner. It doesn't have to be a thick snake, right? We just want to get, this is our bad point. And to me personally, okay, I'm just giving you my opinion. And opinions like assholes. I have one. You know you guys are all one too. The snake. When you're doing a carving, there's always one, one, one issue that's going to come up where you have to think outside of the box. Get it to the point where everything is nice and proportionate. Now, what I should have done is I should have left a little bit more here at the bottom and then can't come around. That's okay. We're just going to thin out the bottom part. We're going to make that illusion. Because when it's standing, you can see it, but at a certain angle. The skulls are going to be a hell of a thing, a bitch to work on. Because now I'm looking at how big my snake stick is. And the weight, I need to bring these guys down smaller for it not to be... like It's not very heavy. I mean, you know, it's not very heavy. But if you're... I don't know. Say if I'm giving this or making this for someone who's disabled, you don't want crazy weight. You look at a normal cane, I think it weighs like maybe like half a pound, two pounds, if if a pound, not even a pound. I'm sure what the hell am I talking about? So you want that there to be in the same kind of direction. Also, we want the skulls to be a little bit small, like brought in because we want the snake sort of looking at them. We'll get that done. I'm sure of it. I, if I can do it, you can do it. The hell with that, eh? So let's just work, keep on working on the proportion. Again, when you're doing your snake, Thin at the bottom, gets a little fatter in the body, and then it's nice here, but then it got too thin here. So now I gotta make my thinner, a little bit of a thinner snake. Uh, illusion part is maybe to take down the same side. I don't know if you can see that very well how I said that, but here, and you can see how thick it is here. Maybe bring this down a bit. Maybe that might just give it the illusion that the snake. Um, I'm thinking. You know, like bringing down, like, I'll show you my pencil mark. So there's the thinness, and then, I don't know if you can see that, guys, but bring it just, you know, I'm not going to take a tape measure and go through it, because I know by eye, everything's done by eye. So if I could bring this to the same size of here, a little fatter here, I'll be happy. I'm sure the guy will be happy, too. And then it goes to the same pretty much proportion, a little bit thick up on the top so we can take you know if i'm gonna cut down some i can take a bit a bit i don't want to take too much because honestly i mean okay i've said this in my other videos i'm gonna say it again we don't have snakes here we have garter snakes what the hell that is it's a, it's a garter they'll bite <laughs> but they're very small um this is a smaller stick i want it to make it to be a rattlesnake so I know rattlesnakes are thick. One of my favorite snakes, and I've never said this, and I'm going to tell you one of my favorite all-time snakes that I'll ever, if I could ever see one, I'd never touch it, uh, be around it, would be a Gaboon Viper. Oh, my God. I love to carve one of those. Those guys with the horns on their head, and they're just, they're nasty. The only snake that I know of that I've been watching, I watch a lot of videos on snakes, because I love snakes. When they strike their prey, they lift their head up, like their neck, and they hold them like that. It's just like, you know, they're, they're crazy, man. I, like, usually a snake will either grab it and, you know, fight with it. This thing just grabs it and has the muscles to keep its neck up and hold it. Watch a video of a gaboon 
viper eating. Uh, they're feeding. They're awesome. Anyway, not everybody's into snakes. I like them from a distance. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So we're going to keep on going. We're going to just um, cut up some stuff. Take a little five-minute break. I'll be back. All right, guys. So and we're going to change to a different bit. This is called the typhoon bit. Uh, taper. Uh, very coarse, like we're talking. Whoa. So what I want to do with this is I'm just going to get back into just taking down part of the stick part so it looks like it's more round, okay? Uh, let's do our safety. I don't wear a mask because I, mean, I should be sitting closer. I know I should be wearing a mask. At least a dust mask would be well. Um, I, sit, I should be sitting closer to the, the dust uh, vent. So let's just check that out. take the rasp now it's a long process so I only show you bits and pieces what I'm doing is I'm just rounding off this and it gets a lot of the marks off so you this takes a little bit of time so I just put it over my shoulder as you can see my see I just put it over my shoulder like this and this is how I work at it so I can see where I'm going where I need the roundness more it takes off a little bit of the edges now there's two ways to look at this you're gonna sand it if you're gonna use a burner I would recommend sanding the whole thing I have the tips that I make it doesn't have to look like that because once you hit it with the tips once I, I punch the tips in this doesn't stay standing anymore so it's like it's almost pointless but it's still something you can do it's up to you I don't do it I just use the this is the the razor or the cuts all uh, whatever this is called again uh, file and it does a great job you can see it takes all the takes all the the marks out kind of kind of not exactly and I like to work on the stick while I'm doing this try to get, get all the bumps out all the cut marks you can see there's some cut marks a couple of good strokes of this and it's good still got to make sure that the stick at the bottom is uh, small enough to put a, uh, a cap on which we use a little rubber caps okay so yeah this is all I'm doing is just Running, running this the file around the snake like this, just to round it off. We did cut down that piece there, so I think it looks a lot better. Uh, it's still really thin up here in this piece, but oh well, it still looks like a snake. On this a bit. Like I said, this is a long process, so I won't show you the whole working of it. We'll go on to the next step after, where it'll be more of a sanding. I like to sand, like, I like to get this the middle of the stick sanded down in proportion, because right now it's a little bit off, but not too bad. And this, uh, this file does a hell of a job, guys. Don't get me wrong, it's, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but if you go to the cuts hall and you check it out and you put my code in, RV Woodcraft, uh, save yourself a couple bucks, percentage, whatever off, you'd be happy with it. It's it's a little pricey, but worth, worth its pennies, I'll tell you that. It's one of the best files I've ever had. I'll keep on going and then we'll show you what the end result is. All right, so we finished off with the rasp. Uh, the snake 
stick is out. So it is proportioned, it's rounded. Uh, next, we are going to work on the skulls. So uh, that'll be the next video. And uh, we're going to keep it, try to keep it compact because uh, it takes too long. You guys are watching me and I know it's supposed to be uh, showing you guys, but it, it just takes a long process. So you get it when I do little bits and pieces, I hope. If not, let me know. Maybe I'll just have to do it longer. Let me get bored. All right. Thanks for watching. Get on to the next video. Choose your own path. If I could do it, you could do it. Thanks, guys.